Well, let's talk about female sports now. Now, there has been a rise in women's participation in sports, but of course, a huge difference exists in the participation rates between women and men. We joined the hashtag no Her Name campaign some weeks back, and uh, this was adopted by the ladies in Sports International. We want to keep talking about this and lend our voices so as to change the narrative. We have Funke Oshonaike joining us all the way from Germany today. Good to have you with us, Funke. Good morning. Yeah, I, I learned uh, good morning in Germany is good morgen. Am I correct? Yeah, good morgen. Ah, okay. I'm learning my German very well. Maybe I should just relocate to um, Germany. <laughs> you are most welcome. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, how is it going over there in Germany at the moment? Everything is fine. Everything is um, getting back to normal. We have more people outside. More companies have opened. Now we can play table tennis. That's the most important for me. Though the league has been cancelled, you all know that, yeah, okay, German started their football league yeah. before yeah. any other football in, in Europe. And so far, so good in Germany. Yeah, good weather today. And um, what else? Everything is okay. Mm. But let's, let's jump to um, the female sports now. Now, what do you think we can do to put the ladies out there in a bid to grow female sports? Okay, when you talk about female sport, I don't think we have a lot of problems like that in table tennis in the world. Like in um, international competition, the female table tennis players are getting the same amount like the males. I think the most um, problems are from the uh, team sport, for example, football, you know. And I think another problem is that in Nigeria, I think... What they are supposed to be doing right now is that they have to get um, female coaches for fem female athletes. It is very, very important, mm. you know. And I don't know why they've not changed on that. Some, some sports in Nigeria are doing it, but we need more because I believe one thing, nobody can understand um, a, f a female player better than a female coach. You know, because there are some things, you know, a female player cannot talk to their male coach. So I think um, the best thing for, for now, which they have to start thinking about, is to get a female coach, you know, for female, female athletes. And they, that has to start from, 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 from the Falcons. You know, I had some time ago that um, Nigeria is thinking of getting um, a foreign coach, you know, for them. I, I really don't support it. We have a lot of past athletes past athlete that are coaches in Nigeria right now mm -hmm. that are female. I think, uh, for me, it is going to be better when they get um, um, a female coach in Nigeria for the Falcons because this female coach, you know, know them better, know our culture, knows a lot about how, what is done in Nigeria, what to do and what not to do. But if then the female coach, you know, is not working, then they can let her go and get a better one. But for saying that, you know, they, they have to get like a foreigner. Believe me, I don't support it. All right. Now, let, you mentioned the fact that in tennis, yeah, they, they really, really do not have much challenges when it comes to pay. But in other sports, do you support equal pay for both men and women? Of course. What are the males doing that the females are not doing? Mm. There's absolutely nothing. If we talk about um, what they win, I mean, the cash prices they are winning, you know, what they are going to do with it. It's the same thing that the female, female players are going to do, you know, to do with it. You know, maybe some athletes will pay, maybe use it for their, for their training program. For, you know, some of them will use it to take care of themselves, their family. So why, why are you saying that the female athletes should not get the same amount the, the males are getting? It is, it is so very, very wrong. And I, believe me, I'm the female, you know, we have more more to do with money than male, okay? You, I say, okay, I'm being feminist here. But that's, <laughs> but that's the fact, you know? Sure. What are the males doing nowadays that the females are not doing, mm. you know? So please, I, I, whatever sport that are still doing that, I think that they need to change, you know? It is very, very important they need to change because there's nothing the males are doing that the females are not doing nowadays. Very true. You're very, very correct. And uh, I just hope that that narrative changes someday. Now, as we go, a lot of young talents out there, they look up to you. They want to be like you. And um, some of these talents also believe that they can achieve greatness even without education. Would you want to drop a piece of advice for them? No, 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 no. Education is very, very important. The most important is you have to go to your primary school and your secondary school. That is very, very important. It is not everybody that will go to the university. 
You know, you need to get this basic, primary school and secondary school. Then education to me is not only, you know, going to the university to, you know, even if you don't, you cannot go to university again, you can go to do apprentice, apprenticeship, you know, something like that, because that is what we do here in Germany. It is not everybody that will go to, you know, to the university, you know, there's a program laid for every student every student so if you cannot go to the uh, um, to the university make sure you go and learn one hand work it is very very important because one day you understand anything can happen to you and you won't be able to compete again but then you have something to fall back on so it is very 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 important education is very 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 important and even for some people that are still going to the university you know i can see a lot of people that you understand after the university um, schools, they don't actually have job. That is why even when you are going to school, to university, you still have to have a, 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 something that you understand you can do with your hand, you know, because nowadays we have a lot of, um, what is it called? We have a lot of unemployment in Nigeria. So we need to, you know, learn something with our, with our work. So please, athletes out there, education, it is very, 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 very important because one day, you might not be able to do that sport anymore. Mm -hmm. Very true. Thank you very much, Funke, for speaking with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Do enjoy the rest of your day, then. OK, and you too. Thank you. And remember, please stay safe yeah, and surely. wear your face mask. Of course, we will. After the show, we'll put on our face mask. Thank you very much, All right, Funke. then. OK, then. Thanks for having me.